Hey there, buddy. Um, I'm going to do a little side tutorial here, uh, looking at creating just kind of a simple version of a TikTok clone. I've had some people ask me uh, if I knew how to do that, and I do have a general idea of kind of how to make it work. Um, expanding upon it as far as design and, and uh, exactly what kind of widget or, um, I'm sorry, icons and all those sorts of things that you would want to have in the app, that's up to you. Uh, but what I'm going to show you here today is how to get a video feed set up similar to that of TikTok. Um, and the best way that I've found to make that work. Um, so I am working within a project that I've already got going that I'm using for other tutorials. Uh, so we're just going to work within that so you can ignore most of these pages. Um, we're just going to look at... Uh, uh, the well did I delete another side project and let me rename this page real quick so it makes a little bit more sense um, so we'll just be working within this this folder here now on the back end over here I've got video feed which is where I'm going to be pulling data from and right now I've just got a date field a posted by reference a video field and a likes field and we may add more fields here as we go along. Now on this page, um, I do have a <clears throat> app bar up here and I'm actually gonna, uh, let's see here. Yeah, we'll adjust all that in a minute. Oops, Ooh, not what I wanted, it's a little too small. Yeah, that'll, <clears throat> that'll work. Anyway, we'll come back to that. We don't we don't need that. Um, <clears throat> but I am going to keep the app bar there to work with. All right, so very first thing that we need to do um, right now, this, this page is totally empty. Uh, so we want to add a, whoops, wrong button. We want to add a column. Go ahead and get a column in there. And that's what we'll work from. Now the next thing that we want to add to that column is a container. And we're going to set that container's width to infinite and its height to 100%. All right, and now we are going to want to add the page view component because <clears throat> that's how we're going to uh, generate that TikTok feel where instead of like a normal page where you put a column and you just scroll down the page, we want the video when you swipe up um, to change a video. We want the video that you're currently on to slide up and be replaced by another video, kind of like you're going to a new page, um, but it's done by a swiping motion. So we're going to use the page view component for that. All right, so now that we're in the, the page view component, uh, a couple of things that we need to set here. So it's already set to infinite. We wanna set its height to 100%. Um, we wanna set the uh, axis to vertical. We want to allow swipe scrolling, so we'll leave that alone. And then we wanna turn the show indicator off and we'll leave initial page index at zero. All right, if we go over here to our page layout, uh, you'll see that it created three page views as examples. You can delete two of them because we're gonna generate the rest of them dynamically from a query. All right, so let's go ahead before we generate our query, get rid of this image because you're not gonna need that. We're gonna fill it with a video. Um, so let's go up here and we are going to have a video obviously um, but we also want to have a menu kind of overlaying on top of that video that references the user that posted the video as well as like a like button a comment button so on and so forth um, so what we're going to want to use is a stack so drop a stack inside that page view And as our first component to the stack, we're gonna add another container. And we'll set it to infinite as its width and 100% as its height. 
and then in that container, go ahead and put a video player widget. Now you'll see it takes up the whole screen. Now you don't want that gigantic play button there. So down here, we're going to set auto play to yes, loop video no, show controls no, keep full screen on, and load on page load on. So now uh, now we've got a video here, and I'm actually I'm going to turn autoplay off for now, so that it won't play every time uh, the page flickers whenever I'm working within this tutorial. But we will want to turn that back on before we, you know, push that app up live. All right. Um, so now we want to add like a menu bar. Uh, so we'll go back to our stack, and we're going to add a column. And we're going to drag, I'm going to have it on the right side. So we're going to drag that column over to the right. Um, and I think, yeah, we'll uh, use a minimum amount of space on its axis. So it kind of sits right here in the middle. And then we're going to add another container. And we're going to, way too much, way too much. Oh, goodness, it's so hard to control like that. That should be okay. Now we'll make it a little bit longer here. And we can adjust all this once we have things set in place. And then we'll uh, make the color a transparent gray, translucent gray. And we can make the corners kind of rounded on the outside bottom and top corners oops not not 23 that's not what i want i want 12. okay and then let's drop another uh column inside that uh inside that container and add a padding of 12 from that uh, column to the top of the container and then let's grab a uh, circle image and put it in that column and reduce the size uh, let's do more than that okay reduce it to 45 uh oh my mouse died slightly okay so reduce that image to 45 and uh Let's see, and now I'm going to, I, I want that image to stay up there towards the top of the container, so I'm actually gonna go ahead and drop another um, column in there, and I'm going to expand it so it takes up the full width that's left, and I'm going to do uh, space around, and we're going to drop a couple of icon buttons in here. Let's, uh, Change the color to white so you can see it. We can duplicate them. All right, so now we have some icon buttons that we can work with here. Um, and we have the <coughs> user image of, <coughs> excuse me, user image of who posted the video. Um, and so now we can query some backend content. So next thing that we want to do is we want to go ahead and generate our query for the page view. Um, so let's go over here and let's tap on page view. And then we'll do, uh, make sure it's our only page in there. So you just want one page. And then we're going to query, add a backend query, and we'll do a query collection from our video feed and a list of documents and, uh, Don't want that to be empty. Um, let's just do 100 for now. And you can do an order by if you want to. Don't really matter. I'm going to do by posted date so that the newest one shows up first. And we'll do a single time query. So now it's, it's querying. You can see as I'm trying to scroll, it's trying to drop down to the next. Uh, next video which i'll show you a preview that makes it look a little better 
Um, but now we're pulling that video in. So what we can do is we can go to the video player first and we can grab from the video feed document the video itself. And then we want to grab the information for the user that posted that video. So we want to go ahead and set the container for our menu over here. And we want to do a uh, query reference. So we're going to do a document from reference select users, and then in our video feed document, select posted by reference to get that user reference there. And now you can set the image to that user who posted the video. Okay, so now you're grabbing that information. Um, so these other icons, um, you know, we can uh, do whatever we want here. Um, comments if you want to do that set as a comment button um, and you can set that as likes if you want to um, I'm honestly I'm not going to go through and do all this I just wanted to show you show you the layout of how to how to generate a feed that'll mimic TikTok but I wasn't planning on doing all of these things if uh, if you want a more in-depth tutorial of making a full TikTok app. I guess comment on this video and let me know, um, and then I'll expand upon all of this. All right, um, and of course you can do stuff up here. We could do like a uh, a menu bar uh, type thing for for uh, the user who is logged in. So we could like get rid of this. And set the color and we could do something like that. And uh and then you could do like your image of yourself. <clears throat> uh, let's see here. And you could set that to authenticated user, so it's a, a the, your picture, and then you could do a uh, a drawer that slides out from the left, and then set that picture to to activate that drawer. So, so there's a lot we could do. We could do stuff up here, and we can we could add in a bunch of other things down through here. But uh, like I said, I just wanted to show you how to create the, the video feed. And something that I, I forgot to mention at the very beginning is we do need a menu uh, bar down here to be able to like a, with a plus button or something to tap and add a, add a new video if you wanted to upload one. Um, and you don't, you don't want to add that. You, you do want to add it to a stack, but you don't want to add it to this stack because if you add it to this stack, then every time you scroll to a new video, then that menu bar at the bottom is going to scroll with the video and that'll look, that'll look really bad. You want that menu bar to stay stationary, stationary and only the video to scroll and change. So what we actually need to do is we need to go to our very top level uh, column here and cut it so that it's gone. Um, and then on our scaffold, we need to add a uh, another stack. And then in that stack, you can add, um, you can paste your stuff back in here. And then under the very top level stack, we want to add another widget. And I grabbed this pre-made widget from the marketplace and it's a it's a nav bar that somebody made that'll work for our purpose and so it's up here so you would use the vertical alignment to shift it down to the bottom all the way and now you have a, a nav bar down there that you can work with and you can go into your components here there's the nav bar and in here you can you can edit it so if you want to have different settings that you could do in here um, you could do that 
and obviously uh, add in where you want these to direct to and what you want them to do. Um, I'm actually going to bring that down a little bit. Okay, so you got that there. Um, so yeah, that that is a very general, basic rundown of how to create like a TikTok style app here. Um, and let's see here. Uh, I want to real quick, um, as noted when we uh, oh, where is it? Page view. When we did our query, I did a limit at a hundred. Um, you can see that it doesn't even give you the option to do infinite scroll, but you don't want to anyway. Um, but you definitely don't want to query the entire database if you have millions of videos in here. So you want to set a limit and then you want to do a pull refresh to refresh the, the database. Or you can do a timed refresh, um, which to do that, you would do a page level action. Um, and you would do like a... Uh, um, start periodic action you'd set a timer on it and then you do a uh, refresh database request on the page view and so after however many seconds it would automatically refresh the the list of videos or alternatively you can do uh you can do a pull refresh which is what i would do um and so you would go down here, that's our top level stack. So you'd grab your very top level column that's right underneath your top level stack. You would add an action and you would do uh, uh, select on pull to refresh. And then you would do refresh database request and select your page view. And then you can wait for the result before anything else happens. You can set your minimum maximum wait times. Um, I'm not gonna do anything of that. Uh, so now if somebody pulls down, it'll refresh. Um, so let's look at a preview real quick. Obviously, this is not going to pull data from the back end. It's just a preview of the front end. Okay, so now you can see. Now, where it pops up and says video player, you're not going to see that in the actual app. This is obvious because you would you'd be generating actual data. Um, instead of this filler. So you're not going to see that player or whatever it says. Um, so you don't have to worry about that. But now you've got, you've got your video over here. It'll automatically play. Um, and then you've got your, your various buttons and, and things like that. So, uh, yeah, there you go. Very basic. So if you want a more in-depth rundown of TikTok clone, um, just comment on this video and I will put one together.